We are here up in the northwestern part of Oakland County. Uh, hey everyone, Scott, and welcome to Holly Recreation Area. Holly Recreation Area is a beautiful state park up here, up here in Groveland Township. We're about a good few miles east of Holly, Michigan, or about several miles southwest of Ordonville. And it's actually easily accessible from I-75, as you can just take the Grange Hall Road exit, or exit 101, and you can come to this beautiful park here. We're in front of Heron Lake right now, and as you can tell over there, we got some people fishing over there. And in today's video, we're gonna, obviously we're gonna check out this boat launch area as well as a little fishing pier that I just showed. And then we'll head over to the beach area, which is over that way. And we'll check out a couple of the other lakes in the day use area. High Recreation Area has both a day use area, actually a, a couple I would say, because we have the main part of the park over here on the east side of Dixie Highway. And then there's also another part of the park with a bunch of trails, which won't be covered in this video. That's further west of here, like actually west of I-75 even. So it's a pretty large recreation area. And then to the north of here, north of McGinnis Road, there's the there's the campground over there too. You can actually go camping out here. So yeah, let's go out and explore. But actually over there you can even see the beach area. There were some people over in the sand, but we'll actually we'll go over there in a little bit. We could actually drive over there. And I'm about to be run over because somebody's going to be putting their boat in. Okay, I guess not yet. <laughs> and then, yeah, right there, it, it, you can actually put your boat in the into Heron Lake over here. And, of course, then we come over here and we have the fishing pier. You can see this family is doing some fishing right now. Let's take a look to see if there's any fish in there. Fish friends. Before yeah, I'm hearing fish are biting right now. <laughs> Except when I look down, I don't, don't really see any. Yeah, a little word of caution on this little fishing pier. It's a little, it's a little shaky, so I wouldn't run on this thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's very peaceful over in here. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna. Get back in the car, I'm going to head over that way to the beach area. And we made it to the, to the beach area here on Heron Lake. We got the beach house over here, and let's get closer to the lake, shall we? And here we are at Heron Lake again, and a lot of people are actually in the water right now. It's the second half of September right now, but it's actually a very warm day today. So because of that, a lot of the kids are in the water. So let's get on this side of the camera. But yeah, as you can tell, we have a pretty nice beach area. Actually, it's pretty long, I have to say. Got a couple of kayakers over there. Got the swing set over there. Looks like a volleyball net. A lot of picnic areas. And over there, actually, have the boat rentals, too. Because you can even see some of the canoes if we pan over here. And a lot more picnic tables too. And, and yeah, take a look at this over here. I actually have a little... Almost like a park on the lake. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. Got all these different inflatable structures out on the lake to where all the kids are... Bouncing around and getting wet and even playing a little volleyball. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. But Heron Lake is not the only lake you can check out here in Holly Recreation Area. If we get back on the, well, the park road and head that way, we can actually check out some other, other lakes in the area as well as some hiking trails. So let's go. This is one of the many trails here at the park, and turn around this way, and 
we have the start of the trail over here and this actually will we'll go on this for a little bit and will take us over to Wildwood Lake so up here's the start of the Lakeshore Trail so let's go oh look at all these steps going down this would be pretty cool Yeah, this is really beautiful back in here. Yeah, it's like if you look at the trail, it's like it's like I almost can't even see it anymore. But yeah, over there is Wildwood Lake. And yeah, this trail actually continues all, all around the lake and takes you to some of the other points of interest. So I'm actually, I'm probably going to get back in the car and I'm going to head over to some of the other areas along actually there's two lakes Wildwood Lake and Valley Lake so we're gonna and as a matter of fact the two lakes I just I just mentioned they're actually technically they're one lake but there's two parts to it so that's why there's two different names to it on our way back up the Lakeshore Trail I'll take a look at these steps gotta say this is really cool especially looking up toward it Back up at to the top, yeah, I forgot to mention, there's actually two parts of the trail. I got the Lakeshore Trail over there where we were just on, and then we have the Wilderness Trail that goes back into the woods over there. And we made it to the south side of Holly Recreation Area, and we're here at Valley Lake. And compared to here in Lake, toward the beginning of the video, it's a lot quieter over here. But yeah, just how peaceful it is. And we go over there where, where those people are all the way out there. That will take you eventually out to Wildwood Lake. I think I had a little picnic table right here too, where you can have a little picnic. And then yeah, come over here. We got the got the boat ramp for both Valley Lake and Wildwood Lake. So anyway, we're going to head over to Wildwood Lake next, and we're actually going to go conclude the video over in that area. And we made it to the east side of Wildwood Lake, and I'm actually not parked over at the main parking area for it, mainly because there's actually a wedding going on there. So to get over to the lake, I'm going to have to take, basically head over to, to the Lakeshore Trail. Ooh, chip on. <laughs> go this way, and we'll, we'll get to the lake that way, and we can conclude the video over there. And actually, we might even be getting close to the party anyway. But I figure, because I know it's a private party, I don't want to really disturb them or anything. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, there's all these different trails, like the Lakeshore Trail and the Wilderness Trail that we saw earlier. Those can actually take you further north over by McGinnis Road, and you can continue north of there, and it'll take you on some additional trails go over by uh, McGinnis Lake. Yeah, it looks like I, I've come to a dead end and it looks like they might be constructing something here in the near future. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and head back. And yeah, if we look all the way out there, that's Wildwood Lake and this is the main parking area for it, but yeah, unfortunately it's actually completely closed off for a, for what, for what, when I peeked over there was a, a private wedding.
But regardless, it's definitely a great place to have any any type of private event, nevertheless. So we'll go ahead and we'll conclude the video over at a at the disc golf course, or at least where the parking area is for that. And last but not least, we've made it over to the Hollywoods disc golf course. And we got the little putting area over here. This is like where they start the the disc golf course. Disc golf is actually quite popular here in Michigan. There's different courses everywhere in all the different state parks or even the metro parks closer into the metro Detroit area. So yeah, right here, we're actually on, on the main disc golf course. You got the got the goal over there. I don't really know the true terminology because I've actually never played disc golf before. From what I've seen, it looks pretty fun though. But yeah, Poly Recreation Area has quite a bit to offer as a beautiful day use area. We got Heron Lake with the with the fishing pier, the boat launch, and the beach area, and also have Wildwood and Valley Lakes just over that way. Got a disc golf course, and and although not featured in the video, there's a, even additional hiking trails all throughout the park on both sides of McGinnis Road, even where the campground is. And then there's additional trails and another part of the recreation area that's west of I-75. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scam995 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. At the end of every video, I've linked to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's video here at Holly Recreation Area, and this is Scott signing out.